In my first video, I highlighted the options when purchasing an electric vehicle and the benefits of doing so. Today, while we're still on the third global EVRT, making our way around UAE and Oman, I'll be walking you through the costs involved in purchasing and running an electric vehicle compared to a petrol-powered car. If you were to eliminate all other factors and look solely at the initial cost of electric vehicles, then you'd say they are very, very expensive. In fact, I'd say the same thing. I mean, let's take the Renault Zoe as an example. It's the cheapest electric vehicle on the market and it costs a whopping 137,000 dirhams. Let's compare that to a petrol-powered car in the same league, such as the Chevrolet Spark, which costs less than half at 46,500. But let's dig below the surface and see if the high initial cost of electric vehicles are justified. For a fair comparison, let us compare running costs up to 100,000 kilometers for the Chevrolet Spark and the Renault Zoe. With the Chevrolet Spark averaging 14.2 kilometers per liter and a 34 liter tank size, each full tank of petrol would return approximately 483 kilometers. Do the math, and that means you'd need 207 fill-ups at the petrol station, with each of them costing you 64.26 dirhams. That's taking today's petrol price of 1.89 dirhams per litre into account. Let's multiply the price per tank, which is 64.26 dirhams, into the number of fill-ups, 207, and the total amount of money you'd need to spend to petrol the Chevrolet Spark till 100,000 kilometers is 13,000 301 dirhams. On the other hand, the leaner and greener Renault Zoe is armed with a 41 kilowatt battery pack and can deliver up to 300 kilometers on a single charge. Taking the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority's median rate of 28 fills per kilowatt, that means charging the Zoe will cost you only 11.48 dirhams for a full charge. Since the Zoe will need to be charged 333 times to hit 100,000 kilometers, and each of them costing you 11.48 dirhams, we can tell that overall spending would be far, far less at just 3,823 dirhams. Let's add another interesting dimension into the ownership experience and factor in servicing costs for both cars up to 100,000 dirhams. On the screen, you will see a table with the service intervals and the price per service for the Chevrolet Spark. Add them up and you reach a grand total of 5,192 dirhams. Now, let's look at the Renault Zoe. They say servicing an electric car costs a lot less, but let's see by how much. On the screen, you'll see a table with the service intervals and the price per service mentioned. What you'll notice is that it remains consistent except at 60 and 80,000 kilometers, which are major services. Add the numbers up and you reach a grand total of 4,730 dirhams. So there you have it. Servicing an electric car does cost less than its petrol-powered equivalent, but not by a lot. To be precise, it's just 462 dirhams less which in a span of three to four years, the time it would traditionally take you to hit 100,000 kilometers, is nothing to write home about. In closing, combining the initial cost, the running cost, and the servicing cost for the Renault Zoe up to 100,000 kilometers comes up to a grand total of 145,000 553 dirhams. In comparison, running a petrol-powered car the same amount, such as the Chevrolet Spark, only comes up to 64,993 dirhams. The massive gap of 80,560 dirhams? Well, that's potential for governments and car companies to make electric vehicles a more attractive option like they have in other markets. Because until then, no matter how good an electric vehicle may be, petrol powered cars will continue to rule. Thanks for watching.